Hey there, Tara Boston Kipper here, founder and clinical director of The Counseling Hub and a practicing counselor slash therapist from the state of Missouri. So today's video is going to be a quick little ditty on eight beliefs that you can and start embracing right now for a happier and more peaceful life. So let's dive in, shall we? Number one is one of my favorites. Number one, it's not personal. That's it. I mean, really, really simple, but not necessarily easy. Really simple to think about, but definitely much harder to put into practice. The bottom line is that the vast majority of times you interact with other people, the, the things they get mad about, the things that happen between the two of you, primarily a result of that person and their own stuff. The same holds true for you. So we can say, well, that person made me feel this way. No, I mean, not really. Maybe they triggered something that's already part of what's going on for you, but they didn't make you feel any way, you know? So that's it. It's not personal whenever we... It's not personal. It's not about us. It's my favorite thing. It's so liberating. Number two. Number two. Accept others as they are and change yourself. So I say this in particular because we cannot change other people. We can't rely on that. We can help them. If they want to change, that's fantastic for us. But we can't force people to change. We can't push them to do something we want them to do. What we do have control over, to a large extent, is ourselves. That might mean removing ourselves from a situation. That might mean setting boundaries with a person. That might mean changing our expectations for a person and or deciding whether or not it's worth it to have them in our life. I mean, it can mean a lot of really heavy things, but the reality is that we we can only really accept others and and change ourselves. That's what it comes down to. Number three, this is one of my favorites. They all are probably my favorites. I can't really lie. Number three is to take care of yourself. And I don't mean in a selfish sort of way. I don't mean in a, you know, um, put yourself first and F everybody. I don't mean it like that. I mean it in a purely almost physical and physiological and emotional and health, spiritual, whatever, in that sort of way. Look to yourself to fulfill a lot of your needs, you know? Um, are you, if you're a creative person, are you being creative in your life? Are you taking care of yourself in terms of self-care? Are you treating yourself nice physically? Are you uh, being kind to yourself? I mean, a lot of the things that, a lot of the things I'm going to cover in a minute are also tied back to you like, and treating yourself in the same way. So, number three comes back to, t I mean, it's take care of you. It's simple. Number four is another one of my favorites. No surprise there. Number four is what you do today predicts what you do tomorrow. So this kind of ties in with making changes in your life. If we want something to change, then do it. I mean, you don't have to wait until tomorrow. And if you keep pushing it off, the reality is that you're going to probably just keep pushing it off. So the biggest predictor of how you are going to act tomorrow or in six months or in five years, maybe that's stretching, but at least tomorrow, is how you act today. So, it come, again, number four, if I say it again, it's what you do today predicts how you behave and what you do tomorrow. So, number five, which, again, I'm sorry, the implication being do the things you want to do now rather than waiting until tomorrow because it's probably not going to change if you keep pushing it off. Number five is, another one of my favorites, is embrace all of your emotions. Yes, all of them. That includes the ones that don't feel necessarily good. That includes the things you'd rather push off to the side and say, screw you, I don't want anything to do with you. There's no space for that. There's literally space for all of your emotions and to experience everything in a full and rich way. That doesn't mean that all emotions feel good or that they're all super fun or that you don't wish that some emotions would go away, but they're not going to. Emotions are 
they're chemical, they're physiological, they're, they literally exist. We cannot just act like they're not there because they are. The sooner you embrace them and accept them, the easier life becomes. They're just a part of who you are rather than this giant, you know, looming monster in the distance that you're constantly trying to run from. So that's why number five is important. Embrace all emotions. Number six is that, it's not that, number six is gratitude is a practice and a skill. It's not a given. So some people might be more prone to feel and express gratitude on a consistent basis. And for some of us, it might be something that we develop. And we can work to develop it, it's simple. You put it into practice, which kind of goes back to number four, what you do today predicts what you do tomorrow. Um, coming back to number six, which is that gratitude is a practice and a skill, it's not a given. The implication is that we can develop it. We can cultivate it. We can create it in our lives. And that's empowering. It's awesome to think that we have some level of control over the way we feel. That doesn't mean we control all of our feelings. That doesn't mean we can never feel grief or never feel lost or never feel sad or never feel angry. But that does mean we can experience gratitude a little more on a consistent basis. Number seven, sleep is underrated. Get more of it. <laughs> Get more sleep. This is kind of ties back in with you know, taking care of you. I mean, not getting sleep, you know, that's implicated in depression, that's implicated in anxiety, that shows up physically, it messes with your brain, you can't function as well, you think slower, you can't concentrate. And I realize there are some people in the world who maybe they're in situations where they literally can't get all the sleep that they need. I understand that. Those situations usually end up passing. So I'm thinking of newborn babies, I'm thinking of people that are working multiple jobs, I'm thinking of, you know, certain certain situations that don't allow for a significant amount of sleep. However, on the days where you have the time to sleep, do it. And it's not like there's some set number of hours that you need. I mean, obviously I would say, really I would say eight to nine, but that's just my bias. Um, based on a little bit of research, but the reality is that you might only require six hours and that, I mean, it's fine. Just getting the amount of sleep that you need for you to be functioning in full capacity. That's really what it comes down to. And number eight is simple. It's not always easy, like I said. Be kind. That's really what it comes down to. Everybody that we meet is having, they, everybody has their own battles. Everybody has their own demons. Everybody has their own issues that they're dealing with including us, like we all have those as well. That doesn't mean that we can't be kind to others. So to recap, number one, it's not personal. One of my all time favorites. Number two, accept others and change yourself. This doesn't mean, I have to reiterate one thing with this. It doesn't mean that you're accepting that other people treat you poorly because that's where we get to number three, which is taking care of you. And if people are treating us poorly, the changing ourself piece might be setting a boundary and not interacting with them on a consistent basis or not, um, yeah, that, that might be it. I mean, maybe you end up chopping some friends out of your life or some relationships, but it ties in with taking care of yourself, which is the number three piece. So. Again, accepting others doesn't mean accepting that you are treated poorly. That's where the changing yourself piece comes into play. So I'm going to start over. Number one, it's not personal, all time favorite. Number two, accept others and change yourself. Number three, take care of yourself. That is so important. Number four, what you do today predicts what you do tomorrow. Number five, embrace all emotions, all of them. Number six, Gratitude is a practice and a skill. It's not a given. Number seven, sleep is underrated. Get more of it. And number eight, be kind. So I hope this was helpful for you in some way. I really would advocate that you try to embrace these in your life. They can, they can work wonders. As per usual, comments, questions, feedback, etc. below. 
hit subscribe for more videos of the like. And if you want to reach out directly to me for any, I don't know, questions, feedback, comments, thoughts, etc., you can do so by emailing Tara, T A R A, at thecounselinghub.com. Other than that, have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.